What happened to the Fortnite Travis Scott cosmetics? Well, it's been over 1,180 days since the Travis Scott items came to the shop and also the astronomical event happened. And Travis Scott just released his brand new album, Utopia, and the Fortnite Travis Scott skins didn't make a return. Why wouldn't they? I mean, it's the perfect time to bring them back, right? Or are the skins blacklisted from ever returning because what happened at a Travis Scott concert in real life? Well, no, they're actually not. And we know this because Tim Sweeney, the founder and CEO of Epic Games, actually tweeted out saying Travis Scott was welcome back to Fortnite, but it's not really up to Fortnite. It's actually up to Travis Scott as well. They can't just bring back his items without them asking him or communicating with him. And I have a pretty strong feeling that Travis said no. I don't think he wants them to return. And something else we have to mention is a lot of his cosmetics, such as the glider, spray, and all also the rage emote. They was actually from challenges and at the time of this happening, there was map changes in order to complete these challenges, such as the Travis Scott heads around Fortnite map. So let's say eventually they decided to bring back the cosmetics. We can pretty much confirm that the challenge items won't return unless they do the map changes and re-add the challenges. But let's all be honest, we just don't see that happening. The Kidderoy challenges did make a return, but that's a bit different because his event was in creative. Travis Scott's event was in battle royale. Travis used to play Fortnite way before he got his own skin. I mean, five years ago, he played Fortnite with Ninja and Drake. So clearly, he must have enjoyed the game, right? And that's why he got his own skin. But does Travis still actually play Fortnite? Well, we know his Fortnite name was Cactus underscore Jack 92, as we saw him playing with Ninja. But when you type in his name into Fortnite Tracker, his profile is actually set on private. So therefore, there's no real evidence that Travis Scott still plays Fortnite, which could be part of the reason why the skin hasn't returned so far. So how rare is the Travis Scott bundle? Well, Travis Scott is the number one most used icon series skin, but that's probably because it's a really good skin and everyone who owns him pretty much wears him now and again. And don't forget, the live event was literally so huge within Fortnite, so there was a lot of people active for this and a lot of people did buy the skin. But of course, it has been over a thousand days, so if anyone started playing Fortnite after the last thousand days, they clearly don't own any of the cosmetics and they wasn't even able to buy them. So it does make Travis Scott slightly rare, but nowhere near as rare as other skins such as the Renegade Raider or Indigo Kuno. Same goes with the Headbanger. It's a pretty rare emo, probably more rare than the skin actually, because it was in a different bundle compared to the skin. So most people probably just went with the other bundle, but it's nowhere near as rare as other emotes like the Floss, Introducing, or even Raise the Cup. A lot of people are speculating that the Travis Scott bundle can't return because the weapon wrap isn't actually updated. And for the people who think that, I'm just going to clear up now that it doesn't need to be updated. Fortnite have released so many skins and emotes which was never updated for the item shop. Sometimes they look a bit weird in the shop, for example, being really zoomed in. But overall, it doesn't really matter. It's still possible that the bundle can return without being updated. So could any of those reasons really be good enough to not bring back the skin? No. Not really. I mean, the live event brought everyone together within the Fortnite community. It was probably the best live event within Fortnite, let's be honest. And also, it holds the world record for the most viewed Fortnite video on YouTube, surpassing over 200 million views. And this was uploaded on the official Travis Scott YouTube page as well. So what's the catch? It's a very popular skin. Everybody wants it. Fortnite and Travis would make a lot of money if it returns. A lot of people would be happy if it returns. Well, it actually comes down to Travis Scott. See, Travis Scott is well known to liking rare things. He wears a lot of rare clothes, a lot of rare sneakers, and he's done many collaborations. For example, one with Nike, where he releases some Travis Scott sneakers, and they never ever restock. Also, his merch never restocked, and actually, they even made Fortnite merch with Travis Scott. But again, once it's sold out, it never comes back, just like everything Travis Scott makes. So does that have anything to do with why why his skin hasn't returned? I think so, yes. I actually believe Travis Scott doesn't want his cosmetics to return. And in fact, he quite likes
likes that they're rare and they're never going to return. I mean, it makes sense, right? Everything else Travis does is limited time. So why doesn't he just make this limited time? Because if the bundle did return, it wouldn't be as special as it is now. It wouldn't be as hyped up. Not as many people would be talking about it. But after two weeks of it not being in the shop, nobody would really speak about the skin anymore because everyone would have it. So it's kind of smart that it doesn't return in a sense. Because it creates more hype, more demand, more people speak about Travis Scott, which means more people listen to his music and take interest in his career. So let's ask the question, can Travis Scott return? Technically, yes, Travis Scott can return. It's not blacklisted. It's welcome back to Fortnite. It wasn't officially limited time. It's not battle pass. Yeah, of course it can return. But the other question is, will it return? And I have to say, I really don't think it's ever going to come back. He's literally just dropped a brand new album. And the last one we got was in 2018 called Astro World. So it's the perfect time for Travis to release his bundle. But now that he hasn't, it's fair to say I don't think the skin will ever make a return. I mean, how can it? What opportunity makes more sense than a brand new album? Pretty much none. But the icon series skins such as Marshmallow, Mr. Beast, Kid Leroy, and Ariana Grande come out quite a lot. You know, they're not rare. They've never really been rare. But at the same time, the creators probably don't even think think about it. I mean, Fortnite probably have permission from them just to release whenever they want, whereas Travis haven't gave Fortnite that permission. So make sure you guys drop a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, and also comment down below if you're lucky enough to own him or if you're waiting for him to return and it might never happen.